Less than 48 hours until Election Day, former President Donald Trump made yet another campaign stop in our part of Pennsylvania. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Amy Lutz. I'm Evan Forrest. The former president made a last-minute push with supporters in Lidditz, Lancaster County. Fox 43's James Corrigan was at the event and has details of what Mr. Trump discussed. Former President Donald Trump spent much of his nearly one hour and 40 minute speech at the Lancaster Airport Sunday on attacking the U.S. election system. Trump falsely implied that the 2020 election was stolen from him and called on the elimination of all early and mail-in voting. He also called on states to use paper ballots, which are already used in 44 states, including Pennsylvania. Every day, they're talking about extending hours and stuff. What the, who ever heard of this stuff? We should have one day voting and paper ballots. Trump falsely implied that voting machines can be hacked despite them not being connected to the internet and suggested that vote counting on election night should have a cutoff time. These elections have to be, they have to be decided by nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock on Tuesday night. The former president commented on the approximately 2,500 fraudulent voter registration applications submitted to Lancaster County and flagged by county officials and the district attorney, while incorrectly stating that the fraudulent documents in question were ballots. In Lancaster, they found 2,600 ballots all done in by the same hand. In other words, the same exact penmanship. Trump also attacked the news media suggesting that any future attempts to shoot him should have to go through the media risers at his rallies. But all we have really over here is the fake news, right? And to get me, somebody would have to shoot through the fake news. And I don't mind that so much. Cause... The former president accused his opponent, Vice President Kamala Harris, of causing inflation and allowing murderers and people from mental institutions over the border and urged his supporters to vote on Tuesday. We got to get our country straight now or we're not going to have a country. All right, that's all. And you have a chance in two days. And if you don't vote, you're stupid. You're stupid. And as the former president leaves the stage, we find ourselves nearing just 24 hours before the polls open in Pennsylvania. Both Kamala Harris and former President Trump crisscrossing the Commonwealth in the final two days of this election to try and win every vote and to try and make their final case to become the next president of the United States. In Lidditz, I'm James Gardner with Fox 43 News.